So this winter has been a very long one, never, maybe feel a little never ending, but because of it, a new wave of the flu is going around. So to talk about protecting your family and yourself, we have Melanie Spencer here from the Solid County Health Department. Good morning. Good morning to you. Okay, so a second round and we're especially concerned about the elderly, correct? Absolutely. They are one of our most vulnerable populations in the community. Mm -hmm. We have been hearing about what we're calling a second wave. Okay. So at the beginning of the season, we were predominantly seeing a strain called A. H1N1. Okay. We have started to see, starting about the beginning of March, a strain called AH3N2. Okay. Now, anyone can get these strains, mm -hmm. but our senior population tends to be more susceptible to the AH3N2 strain. So it's something we need to be aware of, something we need to be watching out for. Absolutely. And luckily there's things we can do to protect ourselves and yes. arm ourselves so we can withstand this. So first of all, let's talk about the flu vaccine. Is Absolutely. it too late if we haven't gotten one? Is it too late to do it? Not at all. Okay. As long as flu is circulating, we recommend getting the vaccine. It's a little bit of a later season this year. Mm -hmm. We could see cases well into April, even possibly May. Still okay to get it now. Now, before we came on, I was telling you that I'm not the biggest fan <laughs> of the flu vaccine. Sure. But as you were telling me, it just comes down to science, that the best way to protect ourselves really is with this shot. It really is a proven method, of course, Nothing's perfect, mm -hmm. but it is the best public health tool that we have to fight against the flu. Now let's talk about washing our hands yes. and staying home if we're sick. Because Absolutely. while the vaccination is great and you need to do it, there's other things we can be doing to protect not only ourselves, but also those around us. Of course, and you mentioned two very good methods. Washing your hands, key. It, there's antibacterial uh, gels. Yeah. It isn't a substitute. If you have access to hand washing, that is the preferred method. Stay home if you're ill. Uh, keep your family home, family members home as well from school, work, uh, and just try to hang out for a little bit, lay low, uh, ex instead of exposing the community to whatever illness you may have. Is there a timetable? Is it just when you feel better that you can kind of get back out there? or We recommend that you wait at least 24 hours after your fever subsides okay. before getting back into the real world. Okay. Now, we don't like missing work. We don't like missing school. Right. But if you're not feeling good, let's protect everybody exactly. and just stay home. Okay. Very good. Important things to think about with this second wave of the flu. And if you don't have your vaccine quite yet, it is not too late. Melanie, thanks so much for joining us. Thank you. We really appreciate it. For more information, go online to abc4.com forward slash GMU.